Welcome to today's Extent Supervisor Training. Today we'll go over how to review and approve Extent Reports. First, you'll navigate to the Extent Report Approval screen by going through Time and Expense, Extent, Expense Reports, and then Manage and Approve Expense Reports. You'll notice that the filter by automatically defaults to my outstanding tasks and any expense reports pending my review will be populated down below. Similar to approving timesheets, you can highlight the expense report and view the expenses on that expense report by clicking through. You can also look at these details in a table view by clicking on the word table and looking at them in more of a, a, a list. After reviewing the expense lines, <clears throat> you can view the attachments by going to the workflow subtask, highlighting the attach receipt step. and then clicking on the View button. This will download a copy of the ex expense report receipts for you to review and match up to lines. After you reviewed all aspects of this expense report, you're ready to approve it. Go ahead and highlight the line that is pending your review. The status will be pending. It will be highlighted in yellow and under the assigned tab, you will see your name. When I highlight that line, the Perform Selected Task button is enabled. If I use the Perform Selected Task, I will approve the expense report, or you can reject the selected task and reject the expense report. Once we, if we click the Perform Selected Task button, you'll see that that expense report will automatically disappear from my outstanding tasks. Uh, filter, that is because it is no longer pending my review. To, re to view expense reports that are not under pending your particular review, maybe you've already approved them or they haven't been submitted yet, you, um, you can view those expense reports by changing the filter by from outstanding tasks to status. Filling in any of the criteria below, you can also leave the criteria as is. Make sure to check off any statuses that you would like to see. And then clicking that lightning bolt execute button at the top. You'll see that the expense report is now viewable. And you can see that workflow tab as well as there's our, our previous approval that we just completed. That's how to approve expense reports from a, a supervisor perspective. Once I have reviewed it as a supervisor, it is now pending the expense admin review. Once it has been approved by the expense admin, it will be ready for export and um, import into cost point for payment. Users or supervisors will receive an email notification when employees have submitted an expense report pending their review. So you know that you'll have one out there waiting for you in that outstanding task selection. Well, that's all there is for the supervisor expense report training. Thank you for joining, and I hope this was beneficial.